everybody, Jewel back with you, and we have a super cool event coming up tomorrow morning, the solar eclipse at 28 degrees Leo. Oh, it's been termed the Great American Solar Eclipse, and it will bring themes surrounding correct confidence, balanced ambition, and the ability to succeed, but it very much hinges on how willing we are to allow ourselves to behave and act on instinct. So our natural side is asking for expression. So we have a lot of Leo here and Leo rules the sun. So it's going to be an event that's going to affect everybody on some level because everybody's sun is um, being affected by this in some way. So the last lunar eclipse in Leo is a complement to the solar eclipse occurring on August 21st. So this eclipse phase will be in effect until January 2018 when another lunar eclipse occurs. So we have the monthly um, reset cycle between the sun and the moon, beginnings and endings, and endings, the six month uh, cycle with uh, eclipses where we have a, an ending and a beginning. And then we have this 18.6 year cycle of eclipse to eclipse. So we have these three time frames that we always keep in mind when we're dealing with eclipses in our chart. So this eclipse is a super, super charged new moon that will bring the normal meanings of a new moon with it, but it has an extra punch. The monthly cycle between the sun and the moon, again, 30 day period of change and renewal. And then we have the eclipse cycle, six month period of change and renewal. And then this one marks the next 18.5 years of change and renewal. So. Solar eclipses, the sun is blocked out and as the moon comes to occult the sun, to cover the sun, the emotions, the things that the, the moon stands for are in our landscape, the unconscious things, our habitual emotional patterns, things that have to do with our roots, where we come from, our comforts, those surge to the surface. So it, it, it's, it's desperate to give voice to what is usually unseen and now will need to be outwardly expressed. So we have a reset when it comes to our ability to marry our wants, which is the sun, and our needs, which is the moon. So our outward on our inward expressions line up to really provide this greater insight and understanding of what it is to operate from a place of integrity. When our inner and outer are in sync, we experience great happiness because what we're feeling is what we're doing. So we experience this great happiness from the peace and simplicity that result with having what we say and what we do what we want and what we accept be very much on the same page. So the sun is also going to come to trine Uranus because we're going to have several aspects that are going on here. So the sun and the moon are going to trine Uranus. This is going to push for an ease and expression and an unwillingness to hide what Uranus really represents for us, which is our crazy ideas, our true impulses, our reactions. So we're going to be a much bolder and not as concerned with outside opinions with this particular aspect in play. Taking chances is much easier when we have some kind of easy Uranus going on because those chances seem to make sense. Whereas a lot of other times it does not make sense to us to put ourselves out there that far. Um, we don't tend to be as, again, concerned with outside factors when we have heavy Uranus because there's this impulse to be individualized from that. 
Uh, so acting on impulses over the next six months is very much likely to increase. So if you're someone that needs a little extra gumption, a uh, little extra push, then this next six months can really give you that boost. And if you're someone who could benefit from being less impulsive and um, more reflective, then you could find the next six months bringing you some challenges and some, some learning experiences related to, to bringing that into a better alignment there. So Mercury is also retrograde um, in, it, it definitely has a place in this because it's going to reach the eclipse point at 28 degrees Leo in early November there. I think it's the 6th. So it will reach the eclipse point at 28 degrees Leo and then he's going to be going direct again. So clarity is really going to be the result of this because our thoughts and our words will be much more well developed because of the retrograde motion that Mercury has been under. So there's this time of turning inward and the opposition between Mercury and Neptune that was there initially when Mercury first started to back up is something that will flush out many illusions and reveal people in situations as they truly are over the next six months and the next 18 years. So our dreams and our intuitions, our sensitivities are especially powerful uh, for the past week and during the next few days. We have also got this interesting other thing in the mix called fixed star regulus. This adds to the themes of balanced ambition, thoughtful success, aware authority. Regulus is associated with leaders, nobility, royalty, but it also carries this warning very, very, very specific to hubris. Getting too big for our britches or aggressively overstepping our bounds can bring a planetary smackdown, especially if you have, again, these, this particular solar eclipse in aspect to your pers a personal planet so coming from a place of being humble, of being willing to listen to others, of gentleness will bring success instead of catastrophe or failure the next six months over the course of the next, you know, also 18 and a half years. So, and not to say that it will result, automatically result in catastrophic things, but um, it will definitely add some lessons to our life that are related to making sure that we aren't, uh, you, know, you could say, being too aggressive with uh, the way we throw our weight around or like being too expectant. So we want to be the good lion. We want to be the, the, the magnanimous, um, loyal expression of what Leo is. And because there's also an ex egoic, um, bossy, selfish expression of Leo. And if that's what we're erring on, if that's what we need to work on, then those are the things we're going to be dealing with. So as you can heal the divisions within your own self because that's really really what these new moons especially eclipses offer us is that healing of the division between the conscious and the unconscious so there's no longer this this split in our own selves there's this you know incredible integrity that exists within us the more that we can concentrate personally on doing that the more that that's going to bleed out and help to ease the way when it comes to the new paradigm that is coming in. So 
I believe, and this is something that you will never get any agreement on, it's like which house system to use or Vedic or Western astrology, you can't get any agreement on this point I'm going to make, but I believe that we are firmly into the change when it comes to going into the age of Aquarius. And this is really the one of the last steps that it come when it comes to really launching us into that new era there. So this is a particularly significant eclipse. This month is particularly significant when it comes to really launching us into that new way of relating to each other. So it's going to be a real interesting uh, 18 years coming up here. And um, we will change, absolutely, because uh, things are always changing. They're always changing. And we fear it so much, but that's the one thing that you can really count on is death and change, the two things that we fear the most. And so... Um, Becoming more magnanimous in our approach to others, becoming more loyal in our approach, our approach to ourselves, is really, really going to be what needs to happen. Because again, those those feelings, those intuitions, those moon things are going to come up and beg for expression at the behavior level, and that can put us in a position where when we're really getting good at that, when what we feel is really matching what we are admitting to, we are spiraling up into a greater understanding of what the truth is for us. And that is something that will bring so much meaning to your life when you can really get down to, to the core of that. What is the truth of things for you? What is the truth about you? So we're all gonna tell the truth. And the mask is going to slip for a lot of us over the course of the next several months and 18 years. And it will put us personally and collectively in a position where we can get along better within our own selves and with our own selves and with others as well. So I will be doing a live feed of the solar eclipse above my house from my backyard tomorrow morning. I have never done a live uh, feed uh, on YouTube. I do it on Facebook once in a while, but I will have to figure that out. And uh, at Pacific time, 919 to 920 is when we can expect the 99% totality that will be happening right here for me in Vancouver, Washington. And I will be more than happy to share that with you. And it is going to uh, be quite an event. It will take uh, from about 906 a.m. here Western time to uh, 10 or 1130 or so to what for it's completely finished. So during that time, um, I'll be answering questions. We'll be doing a meditation. We'll be setting our intentions. So join me for that tomorrow. And I will also be um, live on Facebook as well at my fan page, Truth and Aspect Astrology. So join me there and get some good rest. And I hope you got your eclipse glasses. Sunglasses will not be good enough. You need to have actual eclipse glasses. And uh, grocery stores and convenience stores are really, really carrying them heavily around where I am. So hopefully you got a chance to get those. And I will see you in the morning for this awesome, awesome solar eclipse at 28 degrees Leo.